Hey you guys, hey you guys, how you guys are doing? It's your girl, the real chick, the family. I come with a quick little message. Listen, I don't know who this message is for, a male or a female, but the message I have to you is this right here. If a man or a woman cannot accept the fact that you have children, that you're focused on being a mother, I don't care how much this man or woman have, how much money they have, what value they can bring to your life, any of that. None of that shit holds any weight when it comes to what you birth and what came out of you, point blank and period. Now listen, if you are dealing with a woman, and I'm saying, if you already had kids before you got with this woman, cool, fine, she's supposed to respect them kids. But if you dealing with a woman sexually, Whatever the situation may be that you and her have going on, and she and, and you have a child with someone else, he or she is not obligated It's not obligated to fool with you nor fool with your child. That person does not owe you or your child anything. You choose the route you choose to go and mess over someone you knew you was in a relationship with, you knew you was in a commitment with, you knew whatever, to have a child with someone else. That person does not owe you anything nor that child. That person does not have to accept your child. So I don't know who this message is for, but somebody got life and bullshit all messed up okay because this person here feels like you're being um an asshole or a b because you do not want to accept that child man listen i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all like this you ain't gotta accept nothing that was doing your time you heard me because if they did it once they're gonna do it again trust and believe that it ain't no such thing as no accidents or no coincidence let me tell you something I'm letting you know right now. A man choose who he gives his seed to. Don't get this twisted. Men are good at semen retention. They can hold back their semen. Men are very good at that. A man choose who he gives his seed to. So if a man gave another woman his seed, that's because he wanted to give it to her. So you don't need to be mad at that woman. You don't need to be mad at that woman's child because this man he choose to give this that that woman his seed point blank and period now listen on a women's point of the view a woman can mess with multiple men and not get pregnant by that man but then that man come along and get her pregnant it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't that's just how it is but if you in a relationship, a commitment, a situation, whatever it be with someone else, and they go out and make a baby with somebody else, that is not your problem. That's not your concern. And you do not have to affiliate yourself with this person or their child. I don't give a damn if this man got you in a 1.5 mansion. I don't give a damn if this woman buying you everything you want, everything your heart desires. Don't let nobody mind screw you and control you with no money or look down on you because you have kids. Another thing is, some of you single mamas out here, and I'm going to say single daddies too, y'all meeting these new people want to go on relationships or whatever. These new people telling y'all, oh, you can't never do nothing because of your kids. And I can't because my kids come first. Because I guarantee if I catch a stroke, a heart attack, or anything right now, my children going to be there and your ass going to be on to the next. Y'all got this twisted when it comes to people, children, that people supposed to put their life on hold for you because of, put their children life on hold to try to entertain you. No. See, because a man or a woman that's for you is going to uh, participate in family activities. Okay? They're going to make sure that your children is included in stuff. Hey, we can spend a little time with the kids and then it's me and your time. A man that's a woman that's for you. But a man or a woman that's not for you that just want to sleep with you, 
and go around and tell their friends that they slept with you. It's going to try to put like your children is a hindrance or a distraction to your relationship. Don't let nobody, when I say nobody, make you go against what you birth. I don't care about who this person is. How long this person been in your life? What this person can do in your life? Let me tell you something. Because God is going to deal with you accordingly. If God given you children, he given them to you for a reason. He entrusted the children in you. Not for you to go against the grain for those, for, for nobody against what you birth. Against what's rightfully yours. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all have to understand this. I don't know who this message is for. But somebody out here is allowing people to come between them and their children. They allow somebody to tear down whatever you and your kids have. Okay? This person is making you, telling you, oh, let's go do this, let's go do that. And you got your kids. Oh, when you gonna come spend time with me? When you gonna come do this? And you let them know, I got my kids, I can't do all that. Leave them. Leave your kids. What kind, of, what kind of BS is that? What, what kind of foolishness is that? But they care for you. Somebody who care for you not going to put your back against the wall like that. Stop putting people before your children. Stop making people feel like they, they, they come before your kids. Because nobody comes before your kids with God. Stop, stop making these people feel like they hold some weight in your life. They hold more weight in your life over your children. Because they don't. And these new people that you meet and that you're getting entangled with, if a man or a woman can't understand that you got kids and you're going to see about your kids, then guess what? You leave that sorry man where he at and you leave that sorry woman where she at. Point blank and period. If, a, if you're dealing with a man who don't have no kids, he's not going to understand what it's like being a parent because God ain't never blessed him with a child. If you're dealing with a woman who ain't never had no kids, God never blessed her womb. So how could she speak about something when her womb ain't never been blessed about it? Y'all got to stop allowing these people to have too many opinions in your life that ain't helping you raise what you birth, ain't helping you take care of what you birth, but want you to leave what you birth behind to spend quality time with him, with him or her. I don't know who this message is for, but I hope whoever it's for that you wake up and you smell the coffee because your kids are going to always be that even when this person leaves. I don't care what this person buying, how this person doing it, never go against your children for no one. It's your girl, The Real True Divine Feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.